Hey, welcome back to Cool Kids Art, and for this video, I'll be drawing the skeleton conductor in the Phantom Express stage in Cuphead. So let's get started with a quick sketch, and then I will show you line by line on how you can draw this. All right, so let's draw this conductor, and to begin, I'm gonna draw uh, kind of his the bottom of his hat first. So we're gonna draw one line, curve it out like this, and then now we're gonna draw the skull. So we're gonna come. Both sides just kind of come down a little bit. All right, and then we're gonna draw the eye socket. So this is gonna be, let's draw two curves out like this. Okay, and then now we can draw the uh, the eyes. So from here, we're gonna go, just curve it in. Okay, so that's one, and then the other one. It's gonna be like that. It's a little bit of tricky shape. It's, very strange curves, right? And in the middle, we're gonna draw another curve right here. It's gonna be his brow. So now we can draw the rest of um, the eye socket. So you wanna come down, one big curve like this, and then a smaller one down here. And then now you can connect this, that kind of shape. Okay, so right here as well. So we're gonna come in here. We're gonna come down, same as the outside curve. Just one on the inside of the eye, and now we're just gonna connect them, that curve. And let me shade it in real quick so we can see. Okay, so it's kind of a large area. So from there we can draw in uh, his nose. So we just come down in the middle. Just draw, draw a little curve like this. And then just curve it in. I'll shade this in as well. My, since I've done the eyes already. Okay. And then from there we can give it some detail. There's a little bit of a folding going on. And then underneath the eyes. Okay, so that gives the expression. All right, so now to draw his cheek, so we're gonna come on both sides, just kind of come out, almost the same kind of curvature as the, uh, the eye socket area. Okay, so from there, we're gonna draw the rest of his uh, face. So this is gonna be his jaw. So just come down, curve it around the side and just kind of connect it back. Okay, and then the mouth is actually pretty easy. So what you can do is just draw kind of like a frown, a line like that, and then now we can draw in the rest. So from there, just draw in, this is gonna be the corner. Just draw in a shape like that, and then give a little crease on the side. And then on this one, it's gonna be the same thing. A little bit sharper in the corner, and we're gonna give it a little bit of crease there. And then now for the, the teeth, so we can go one in the middle, and then we can draw this one on the, on the bottom as well. And then there's gonna be one open area right there. Okay, and then there's gonna be two on this side. And then for the bottom, there's gonna be three. So one, two, three, and one, two, three. Okay, so let me shade it in so that we can see that these are open areas. Okay, and since we're down here, let's finish off this, uh, this, this next spine. So just cut two lines straight, bracket, close it. A little bit of detail in there. So you can draw as many as you want, right? Just kind of keep going down. Bracket, close it. Okay, so I'll just stop there and you actually don't see much of it in the game anyways. So going back up to his hat, so we're gonna draw, kind of come straight up, just kind of give it the same curve. And now we're gonna kind of close it off with this round shape. And then this is the little detail on top of on the hat, in front of his hat, it's gonna be kind of gold color. And then now for the rest of the hat, so we're just gonna draw two lines like this. 
and then all you do is just kind of close it off. And we'll see a lot better once we color it. All right, so now for the arms, I'm just gonna draw both of them. So this one's gonna be with a fist. Okay, and you can draw them anywhere. So for this one, we're gonna draw, let's see, let's try his thumb first. Okay, that's one curve. So now we're gonna draw the, the rest of the fingers. So we can draw one right over the, the thumb. And then there's gonna be another one right here. It's gonna come down around the thumb. That's two. And then one more. Okay. And just kind of give it a little bit of bony structure there, right? So that's three. And then his fingers folded. So it's gonna kind of, just gonna be one here. Okay. And then now this is the other the same finger going back. And then we're gonna curve it down for his palm. And now for his wrist, so it's just gonna be, just draw a little bit of a curve like that and close it off here for his palm. And then now for his uh, arm, the bone, so just kind of go both sides, just kind of round it up straight like that. And then we're just gonna draw this shape here. And then now for the inside, because there's actually two separate bones, right? So that's one and two. Now let's draw the other hand where he's kind of like smashing into the ground. So this one we can draw, this is going to be the wrist. We can draw a bone like this first. So we know where we are. And now we can draw his thumb. So it's going to come up, just kind of curve it. Just kind of give this kind of little bump here for this curvy shape, right? So that's his thumb. And this is going to be his palm. So on both sides, this one I'm going to come out. So we know how far his hand's gonna be. And then here we're gonna draw three bumps right here. So it's three fingers, it's knuckles. All right, so then from those three uh, bumps, we can continue on. This line, and then another bump, line, and another bump. And then finally the tip of his fingers. So now we're gonna go back, just kind of connect them. Okay, so we're gonna curve this around. And now we gotta draw one bump here, and two line, and another bump here. So these are just the segments of his finger, right? Now for the last finger, so we're gonna come straight, and then we gotta draw curve, straight, another curve, just kinda of round it off with a fingertip. Okay, and then now for the bone, this arm, so we're gonna go straight up. Round it off here. And then for the inside, it's gonna be two bones, right? And then it bends here on the elbow, so, but this actually goes into the train, so just give it a little shape like this and I'm just gonna close it off as if it's, that's coming off out of something. And that's it for this skeleton conductor in the Phantom Express Boss in Cuphead. Hope you guys like the way it turned out. And if you do, please do give me a thumbs up and I will see you next time.